is simply amazing. Just be able to see another um, another shrine that's in this uh, 
of the big show in Los Angeles, Colombia. And now going back inside to the chaos. <laughs> as you can see, there is simply a massive amount of people here. Like, if I didn't know anything that was going on, like I said, I would totally think that this is a festival. But this just shows how revered this saint is and how many people are coming from literally all over Pakistan. And the complex keeps going, y'all. Like, this is an absolutely massive, massive place. Um, I, I haven't seen anything else in Pakistan like it. Um, just wow. And people are so welcoming, so friendly. A lot of people have asked me to take pictures, which I love when women do, so that was cute. Um, and another thing that I love about, you know, Pakistan and things like this is like, this is such a, you know, a, such a real event. You know, this isn't a tourist attraction. There are no other tourists here and it's just, it's really, I'm so happy that I'm able to be here. Let's take a look behind me just for a moment. Uh, look at how absolutely beautiful this place is. And as I've already said, this guy literally lived in the 1200s and he actually almost lived to be 100 years old. And this is absolutely the most beautiful shrine I've ever seen in my life. By far, there is no no comparison. And there's some very beautiful shrines in Pakistan for sure. So that's saying a lot. Um, and to think this shrine was originally built so many years ago and still it's in such amazing condition. That's Zabardast. Zabardast to Pakistan for keeping this shrine in such amazing condition. It's so beautiful. I. This has been the best possible Damal I could want to go to. Now you can actually see some, some types of singing, some different versions of Kowali scenes going on here. Something else that you'll see, uh, especially a shrine like this, that is so revered um, by so many people, is a lot of people who are in ill health will come here um, and they will pray and whatnot. So I've seen a few of those occasions. Um, it was the last few ones that I've seen were with women. However, um, I'm sure both genders um, have likely done this. Um, and the thing is, people are coming from all over. People are not just coming from, uh, you know, nearby or in the town as well. So now we're just heading out of the shrine, and y'all, what a damn crazy experience this has been. <laughs> Um, just amazing, like wow, I was not, I had hoped that the night in Sawan would go well, but this was beyond expectations, such as everything in Pakistan. So guys, I just learned that the shrine is open for 20 hours a day, these gunpe, uh, for four hours per day, it's closed for some cleaning and just shut down scenes for the people that are running it, and so people can get a break. But it reopens every day at 4 a.m. Chara Bajay. So guys, um, I hope you have really enjoyed this vlog as much as I did because this is hands down one of the best nights I've had in Pakistan. Like it was just Zavardas, everything I could have wanted for coming here because you know a place like this I'd put a lot of um, expectations on it because I like I said I've been wanting to come for three years but um, really could not have been a better experience and also shout out to the amazing um, he was like a police type guy and he really be it was only because of him that we were able to be so close and be right up there with the action because otherwise as you all saw there was literally thousands and thousands of people there so big shout out to him he really made the night super awesome so anyways once again thank you for watching please subscribe and I'll catch you guys next week with another vlog here in Pakistan. Allah Hafiz. Bye.